we'll be starting I'll be starting the stream in a few minutes. Hello everybody, nice to meet you, I hope that you are doing well, uh, and if you want to give me some support, please uh, share this stream uh, on your, while, while it's uh, live on your social media, so that as much people can see it, this will help me to have some better public so uh, today I'm going to experiment a little bit in trying to make a new scene for my movie and in this case uh, I have just modeled si pretty simple scene of uh, viaduct uh, of streets, uh, of streets, of of uh, bridge configuration, and uh, it's pretty cinematic, and it's a really simple scene. I just spent a few minutes uh, doing it, but I think that it could be a good start for. For this scene. So what I will be doing is I will be just exporting this uh, scene, this meshes export selected simply and then I will go into my scene and say um, I uh, I had a Nothing too complex. Okay, so what is important? Uh, okay, I have prepared my empty scene that are using the same effects as I used in the night scene before. Uh, so I have everything here that is uh my post processing volumes if you want to know a little bit of, more about that you you can uh, go into uh my previous shows and uh see there how i made them 
they mostly use some uh, music occlusion, uh, occlusion uh, screen space reflection, uh, micro shadows, contour shadows, shadows, and things like that. It's a pretty simple uh, fog, volumetric fog for for lightning, and it's a pretty pretty simple setup. So, you know, uh, mostly what is important is. Uh, ex Exposure. I'm always using fixed exposure uh, because I want to have a control. Uh, and I'm not doing gaming, so I don't want the lights to to behave differently that I that I actually use them. So uh, let's try to import our uh, viaduct model and we can find it there but uh, as I didn't make any lighting here I will have to add some lights let I will start with some just uh, directional light it's just the basic lighting that I really don't yeah, something like that. And I can see already that my model was a good... Uh, when I made it, I didn't thought about scaling or anything like that. I was just going into my... Just thinking about visual, uh, visual appearance, not about how much it should be scaled. So I will go here and set this to scale factor 100. And you can see that even, yeah, I will have to use 250 more or less. Uh, this should be, default unity cube is about one meter. And uh, yeah, this could be uh, something like three meters. So well, let's see. It's a good way to measure, simple way, most simple way to measure things in unit is to take a cube and then. So this should be three meters and 60. But uh, I probably want my divider to be a little bit more. Let's say go to something like 350. Yeah. I'm not working in absolute uh, in scales because it's really okay. So something like that should be enough for my purposes. So if we have here a car, yeah, I will have to import. No, maybe even a little bit more. So this isn't in this in this case this isn't a strict requirement. If you are dealing with video games, then it's probably much better to uh, do everything in the right scale, right from the start, uh, because it it will give you some some more possibilities uh, in that way you can be sure that you are having uh, correct values for for anything that you're doing but as I said in my case I won't be bothering too much with this so I have right now a direction light that I actually don't want uh, not that I don't want, but I want it to be. I'm just using it for uh, yeah, shadow maps. I will activate a little bit of shadows. I'm just using it for reference at this moment, and I will probably add its intensity to something really small. And then later use it as a uh, mood lighting. So when you when you deal with night scenes, it's always nice to have uh, something that will. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm 
I was not showing. I'm sorry. How about this? Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, something like this. I'm sorry that I was not showing, but at the end uh, there wasn't too much what to show. Uh, now we can see it here, this seed. And this is our street formation. I will change this direction of light into something uh, much colder. Something like that. And set it to something like that so and also let's see if we had uh, no no i don't want for this light i don't want any volumetrics for this light so i will have to fix these roads uh, and uh, forget to uh Extract all materials. Yes, okay, something like that. And let's see, we have here two materials. Uh, this is the road material. I will add here a, ma uh, a map for a road. And let's see if we have some already. Uh, yeah, I hope that this will. Could go. Yeah, and I will probably go here with with four lanes, then setting some smoothness, dropping it down, setting base map to be a little bit higher, and yeah, here we go. And also I will have to To change this scaling the base of my road so this uh, is pretty simple and then I will explain a little bit what should be happening in this scene so in this scene we will have a car that drops from another world directing to this world but it won't be going directly onto uh, it won't, uh, in the last scene we, we, that we made car was disappearing in one world now it should be coming but from a certain height and it should be dropping here, somewhere here, and then continuing to go. And then when it, as it goes further, it will go up this uh, viaduct here. And we can see right now that we don't have here enough lights. And then it will go up, and we will, from here, here we will see a big city, futuristic city. At the first moment, we, uh, we won't be showing where does it, where everything here happens. I don't have a perfect idea of what I'm going to do. So... Uh, I will be experimenting a little bit with lighting, with uh, with materials and, and things like that, just to be uh, just just to find some way to create uh, a nice environment. So. First of the things that I will have to do is to position somewhere by yeah, my camera or something like that. We have this uh, and create a point light. Then 
that will illuminate a little bit of of those viaducts create some nice lighting and in home I'm trying to create a uh, pretty similar lighting so I'm going to blues uh, greens and uh, orange all red yeah okay this one should be like this no okay I will take off this and find concrete okay concrete material something like that just to be able to and switch that tiling so that I have some kind of a, of a dirt on this dirt some kind of a texture of those materials so for a moment it's a really basic scene Let's see if we can move this light somewhere. Uh, yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, orient it here. And then I will set its range to be a little bit bigger and volumetrics a little bit stronger. And let's see something like that i want some kind of a foggy environment so this should fit me pretty well yeah something like that okay yeah probably uh even like that and then i will maybe duplicate this slide so if it goes well for me yeah it could be Okay, also for this side and for this side, and then maybe no, uh, maybe use it there. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Let's switch this color. something nicer so that it gives few values of different colors yeah we also have this material there and that shouldn't be so uh, reflective it should be like that and probably darker so for this scene for creating a city I will be using my seascape and uh, it's a plugin that I made because when I was working mostly in uh, when I was working uh, at a time uh, for different Um, for events, I had a uh, need to create cities really in a fast manner, in a fast way. And uh, those cities had to be pretty optimized. So I created this seascape, cityscape, seascape. You can find it on, uh, on Asset Store. Uh, and it is pretty simple. Uh, simple to create like seascape create mega city so I will be adding just this object here and then say here random set okay no I won't go too much into uh, into settings I'll create a city layout something like that and then I will create generate buildings and it should create me bunch of buildings that are pretty 
dead afterwards. Uh, nice to use. I already used it for, for my first scene of a movie, but yeah, something like that. So this, crea this creates a city, and I will try to position it somewhere more uh, yeah, after this, yeah, something like that. And to move it maybe a little bit closer. Yeah, I will just use it as a... something like that. And then I will go into... yeah, I will like change some, some smaller things here, background color, because this... we don't need this one, and then we will... Then I will try to modify all the much of the buildings. Uh, no, well, probably this uh, city at the moment is too complex. I don't need so so uh, city is so complex, and I will be uh, simplifying it a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. Generate city, and it will regenerate it. It can take some time. Okay, and right now we have a city that is a little bit more simple. But as you can see, right now I don't have any more that lightning that I had before. So I will try to rotate this, yeah, this light here. Yeah. And then push my my camera here so that I can see where when this city comes into view how does it look and it looks pretty as a normal as a normal city so it's not something that I actually uh, want Yeah, something like that here. Let's see, no. Zero. Okay. And one of the great things about Seascape is that you can take a building and just move it a little bit where you want and scale it. So what I will be actually doing here is trying to make a uh, few buildings because right now this uh, whole city looks pretty like a, like a basic how to say uh, modern city, but I want it to look much more uh, like a futuristic city, so I will try some different uh, facet shapes, as you can see, I can change those shapes here, when I move this uh, slider, so Subdivision shape, okay, something like that, with subdivision, okay, and uh, yeah, change some materials, so let's see. Uh, 
Okay, fraud facet shape. Okay, this one could be okay. Lateral facet. Okay, yeah. This will give you much better view. We know lights, and I can turn on much more lights. Set those blinds to be more, more open. Close and uh, do some things like that, like this. And uh, I will also uh, change a few things here that are, uh, let me see, we know a blinds open shop, facade lights, hate, okay. Yeah, it's not so nice. Let's add some lighting to facades. And I will, uh, night lights colors, okay. Here I can change a little bit of, of some colors. So, at the end I will be taking this, scaling it, and then duplicating it, like this, and then resizing it a little bit more. Just to create some forms that aren't so how to say uh, standard building forms just to create some kind of, of variety here then I will bring some buildings up change uh, facade shapes here and uh, Window lights, yeah. Turn on some lightning. Lights open, yeah. Something like that. Okay. So all these things will help me to give some differentiate a little bit my scene. A roof, oh yeah, okay. Let's try something like that. And you will see that if I uh, go here and re rotate my directional light, uh, yeah, actually, my city will. I'll bring my lights of the city a little bit more on. So I will have probably to uh, deactivate shadows on this one and create another light, direction light, just to add some some kind of a, of a lighting as I did before. Yeah, something like that. And then add here a color that is a little bit color temperature. Always you be using color temperature. Bring it down and do some things like that. Let's see if we can get some more. Yeah, of. Uh, Yeah, we have to find just a position where, where I actually would like this light to be. Where does it show best? Yeah, it's a little bit of fiddling around. And then, what else can we do here? Yeah, uh, 
I was worried a little bit of to differentiate those things. So let's try, for example, duplicating this building and uh, creating another by always trying to create something that actually in a in the real world wouldn't be there. <sighs> that uh, in today's world wouldn't be there, so it's like, okay, let's do some, yeah, I'll maybe rotate some buildings because I don't need them to follow my, oh yeah, oh this looks pretty nice, so Something like that could be a interesting thing. And I will try to change those lights. You, you can see that right now my lights on the building are uh, something like that. Uh, And then uh, I have made few uh, few weeks, a few months ago. I made uh, one of one of the seeds for a second. Okay, I will show you this one. Uh, you can find it my YouTube channel, but it was about uh, recreating a Japan scene. Uh, let me see what was that. Okay, yeah, it should be this one. It was a scene that uh, I was challenged to remake, uh, and so I made it in a simple way. And I, as I already have all those uh, Japanese, uh, how to say, um, uh, advertising panels. I will just use those panels, reuse them. As they are pretty nice, and I spent a few hours of making them so I can reuse them in my, in my new scene. Yeah, this was a scene that I made. So, I'll be reusing the language that much more. You always try, uh, you always have to try to and reuse things that can be reused. It's, uh, it's one of the nicest things about 3D. Because as you go, as you have more uh, more things that you can uh, um, that you make, that you buy, that you more assets, you you become more uh, how to say you have more things that you can do with them. Yeah, so maybe I don't want those lights to be so much. Uh, let's see window lights yeah I don't want so much of those lights oh, okay here okay for this building I want to uh, to drop down uh, those lights yeah something like that so that it looks more organic 
also here uh, with those lights yes yeah, something like that okay so from here let's go into uh, 3ds box where i had that that scene and let's see open recent japan okay this one was a scene it's a pretty simple uh, at the end I, I have used not too many of those uh, panels but when you duplicate them uh, you place them uh, it isn't uh, japan advertising panels yeah so right now we have here this Japanese advertising panels where it is okay uh, what is this? Ooh. No. Okay. This is that one, and I will extract all materials. Select folder. Okay. And then I will import this one. And I will be just trying to add those panels wherever I can. Just to duplicate them, duplicate them, duplicate them. Okay. Let's see them right now. Yeah, they are pretty small. And I will just bring them to be big, bigger, and bigger. And then go and move them into my scene. Yeah, something like that. But before I, I will have to uh, change this material uh, because this material right now uh, extract textures also. Yeah, and fortunately I did. Yeah, something like that, and look at this material, where it was, okay, yes, and I will have to find my, okay, base map. No, not not base map. Sorry. Uh, emission intensity. And then bring it on. No, oh, it wasn't that. It was this one here. Okay. So right now I have one of those. Why only one? I'm not sure. Let's control default one default. Okay. And then uh, I will set this one here and set it to white. Okay. So this should be pretty okay. And then I will start moving this all those objects. First of all, I will say to this unpacked object completely. And then I will move them to my buildings. Scale them. Go to the next object. Put it somewhere like that. Go to the next object. 
bring it up because I like this one. Then I will go to next object, yeah, and uh, just do some kind of a simple simple placing and uh, simple movement, yeah. Touch. Okay. So hopefully at the end I will have a scene that can be... Yeah, you will notice probably that also this, all those materials are probably too strong in the, in the illumination because when I will add some a little bit more of yeah, I'll just bring them down <coughs> let's also move this camera so that I can see better all that seed yeah. And then I will be also, uh, my plan is also to add some animated uh, panels because uh, uh, like blade style runner type of panels. Let's see where can we place this one. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is probably most annoying to watch, but it it is quite amusing to do in real time. So. Yeah, so If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask anything. I'm always uh, I always like to answer them. Yeah, I will probably have to, you can see that Seascape has its, uh, also its optimizer, so if I go here and say this organized buildings, it will group all the buildings in few meshes, so that my Unity has much better response right now. I forgot to do it before, but yeah, this is one of the features that are pretty Neat. Uh, yes, let's no wait a second. Let's scale this one. Not sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's place it here. And do things like that. Okay. Then probably you will notice that we don't have any lights there. And I would like to add some point lights into our scene somewhere. Uh, just to add some atmospherics and uh, range. Set its range to something like pretty big. Okay, no. And intensity. Color temperature, no. But I don't understand why right now it looks like we don't have any. No, we have. Okay, so no, it look it looked like I didn't have any volumetric lighting, but. I'm not sure why my volumetric lighting doesn't show up on this scene. So let's see, point light. Okay, probably because I didn't crank this up. No. Where is my... Okay, my light is here, but it doesn't show. Huh. This is pretty strange thing that I can't understand pretty well. So let's see, maybe... Range, yeah, intensity. No, it doesn't show. It doesn't show up. Why it doesn't show up? Anyone? Does anyone knows it? Uh, let's see if I deactivate some of my other lights. No. It doesn't show up. He doesn't show up. And who knows why it doesn't show up? Nobody knows. One thing, let's turn off. Okay, so this slide should be enabled. Volumetrics enabled. Multiplier. Shadow dimmer. No, it doesn't show. It looks like we are having some problems with uh, just a little bit with with Unity. I'm not sure why. So let's see what can be done here. Okay, you can see that those lights are, oh no, ah, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, I had some settings there on lights that are defining that uh, volumetrics will be only on the floor level, so I will have to change this one, uh, that is, yeah, this one, but because it uses, uh, because I'm having that one in another scene, I will just create a duplicate of this, and then assign it to this, okay, and yeah, I had a maximum height, and I will had to have to move this one much further, okay. So right now I can move this light anywhere where I want and it will behave correctly. Yeah, something like that. 
But you will see that actually, okay, because I have range set to 200, I will have to set it much bigger, as a much bigger range, and then move it on, move it somewhere else, and see what, what happens. Uh, 5,000, 50,000, no, it won't be, yeah, probably. Yeah, I can also do some other tricks, yeah. Because I would, ah, uh, yeah, probably it is too high. Let's try to move it there. And I will try to bring it to something more bluish. But I still have some problems. Oh, I like this effect. You know, sometimes you find you're you're trying to achieve one thing, and then you find some other thing that works much better. And this is a pretty neat thing about uh, real time graphics that that you can see all the effects that are behaving. Yeah, something like that. I like this. Something like that. And then I will be just copy this one. Because when a car passes there, I think that I will have a pretty nice effect. And let's change this to something like that. And this to something like a green, yeah. Yeah, that just looks much, much better. And let's go so here, but I will be pushing this color to something like a blue. Uh, oh yeah, something like that. No, or, or red. Yeah, I like this one. So the key is always to experiment a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Then, as we can see here, we have some buildings that are uh, make editable, that are smaller, but I want them actually to be much bigger. So, so I will take this building here and set it to much higher. Just to create some something like that. Change a little bit of front face and shape. Now this one, okay. Lateral face and shape. Yeah. I think that this one. I like this one. Yeah. And then let's see how this looks in, with the Deckard render. So far now we don't have any Deckard render component. Yeah, it should look much better. Uh, use out of focus, so this could okay, yeah, something like that. But we will need here some lightning, some lightning, some lightning that we don't have at the moment. And this is normal because we made only a few lights and we didn't create enough lights. Okay, yes.
I'll do something like that. Just place them on a imaginary Let's see if we have something else that we can do. Okay. And let's move this camera a little bit here. And of course, I will have to block all the buildings, all organized buildings, yeah, so that I optimize my seed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, our car will come from here, something like that. Then go there and then. Come on this level and look into a whole this world. Yeah, so this I think this should be mostly everything for tonight. Let's see if we can do. Oh. Okay, yes, yeah, so I will drop this one a little bit. And then next time, uh, I hope that I will be showing some more things adding some more details, adding some buildings that are maybe, uh, how to say, bigger and uh, because all, those ty uh, all these types of buildings are pretty generic, how to say. But I want something that will make this, uh, that could make this city to be recognizable, so that it doesn't look uh, too basic, if you if you know what I mean. So it's like, okay, I want it to be just a little bit more. So I would need some some bigger building that shows some things. Also, I want uh, many lights on on those. Some science fiction elements, but this city should be really, uh, really science fiction. It should be a futuristic, but not absolutely like a science fiction thing. Uh, too futuristic. So it's uh, we are always at uh, at uh, two thousand and twenty year, but we are in a in a parallel world so it is just a little bit different as a world yeah so yes yeah, so, also i i for example here right now i started making those lights but i made uh, one big error that i don't want to use uh, point light, I want to use a spotlight, so I will be using spotlight here and then trying to set its angle to something a little bit bigger like that so that I get more 
Yeah, something like a bit more similar to this. Yeah, of course, it's a uh, But uh, the other way, I like much more how those point lines behave here. So yeah, I will have to to decide later, a little bit on later, but uh, for now I will be using this one as a city, uh, as a, how to say, as a... Okay, yes, let's bring this one. Oh, let's make it big. <laughs> yeah, I want it like that. Oh, I think that one should work fine. And uh, let's see, maybe, no. This should be too much. Okay, something like that. And then next time I will be trying to fix all the issues and uh, to model a little bit more this thing uh, based by the uh, by my shots, how I'm how I'm making my shots, so I, that I can make some things that uh, you know, if I have to make everything three hundred and sixty, it could be probably it could be pretty complex, but if I try to create it. Like, uh, like an but only by what is seen on the screen, then uh, you have to. I have to use much less work. So yes, probably I, I. I should also use this camera that is a little bit less. Uh, has a less angle as this is something that I will be using for for my movie so yes something like that let's zoom into this camera and move it yeah yeah I think that, that this works much better yeah also I want just to see because I would be uh, yeah I will be keeping this road completely uh, uh, something like that. I like it. I like it. It's better like that. A little bit of reflection. So when our car comes goes there, we will have more effects. So let's see. From here like that okay this cube we don't need it it was a cube that we have used for for creating all the effects so yeah something like that decker view let's see how does it render yeah I think it looks pretty Nice and fine. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, we need some atmosphere there in the background, and uh, yeah, we need some. Yeah, let's so okay. Let's change here before yeah calling the day. Let's change a little bit of white balance just to. Uh, Film tint. No. Film tint to here. Yeah, something like that. And just to bring it to some. Uh, more 
feeling that I want, you know, like, okay, something like that. Yeah, yeah. This could be nice. That will be Uji. Let's say what type of a film we want here. Okay, no, I'll keep on this Fuji. Yeah, so this is a. This is something that I want to get. I hope to get. Once our. Once our. Uh, scene is done. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you had a good time. I know that this is everything a little bit slow. It's not. Uh, it, it is done in real time. I, do, I don't prepare my streaming, so you get what you see. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, if you like it, uh, give a thumb up. Uh, if you want to help me, please share my videos and share the world. Thank you. Bye-bye.